What's up guys, so this coming week there'll be a trail of storms and maybe into the next week after next week that'll be co that'll be coming throughout um that'll be slamming the west bringing some flooding rains potentially again heavy snow mountain snow and then we'll be bringing some storms to other parts of the united states bringing some heavy snow heavy snow accumulation some heavy rain and some potential severe weather to the south once again so let's dive right into that so before that if you're a new viewer or have not subscribed, please con consider to subscribe and like my videos and share my channel and videos with others to help grow my channel, to reach out to many people as I can possible, and also click the notification bell to get notified as well. So let's dive right into this weather forecast for today. So this is the time frame of this afternoon and evening time period. And as you can see, there will be a new fo low forming. These are going to be one of the storms I'll be cross they'll be digging through the United States so this will, this storm will be forming this evening afternoon time frame bringing some snow to the Rockies and some light rain showers a chance for some rain showers across Iowa Missouri Kansas um, o Oklahoma Nebraska and then a few disturbances out west that'll be causing some potential heavy rain and snow again and then there'll be another big storm on the way that'll be slamming to the west coast once again and then a subtropical low off the coast of the east coast and we'll be bringing some snow and wintry mix to the southern New England and New England or just coastal areas of New England and southern New England and then there'll be a high in place throughout the Ohio Valley the southeast relatively quiet some fair weather but chilly and then for tomorrow, there'll be the storm will be popping off and moving northeast into the mi Midwest, bringing some potential heavy rain once again and some wintry, wintry mix. Excuse me, into Nebraska, the Dakotas, um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and parts of um, Michigan, and then some snow wintry mix again in the parts of coastal New England once again from the subtropical low. And then some rain and getting down to the south. No severe weather is expected. And then a high fair weather down in the southeast. And then, like I said, the new low that will be slamming into California and the west coast, bringing some heavy rain, heavy snow again, some possible so flooding once again, sadly. And then the southwest could see some rain and some snow. And then even farther out in time, this is from the GFS model, so this is about Tuesday morning, the low will be out into parts of Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, bringing some rain to the Ohio Valley in the mid-Atlantic in the south, in the southeast, and the New England could get some winter mix as well, but then this next storm coming Thursday or Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday time period, that will be forming similar areas as first system, would be bringing some heavy snow to Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, northern um, Missouri, Iowa, northern I Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and then some severe weather potentially into parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas this coming Wednesday, and then some heavy rain into the Ohio Valley, the south, and into the mid-Atlantic, into Virginia, some rains of Virginia, maybe some heavy rains of Virginia, and then some wintry mix into the Appalachian Mountains of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, and North Carolina, and some wintry mix as well, also into the Northeast. Let's come into this coming weekend, and then another storm will be forming some severe weather once again, heavy rain to the south, Ohio Valley into Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic, and then some heavy snow once again, the similar areas of Kentucky, all the way up to Michigan and wintry mix once again into um, the northeast some new disturbances again into California and then another storm we come through it then another one and another one so it's gonna get a bit wild but not expecting anything too bad just a lot of snow a lot of rain and some big time severe weather possibly coming Wednesday and I'll also show you how that will now so this is from the National Weather Service or Storm Prediction Center has already a slight risk, 15% probability of severe weather throughout these areas of Louisiana, 
Mississippi and parts of eastern Texas, so that includes like Jackson, Baton Rouge, Lake Charles, um, Monroe, Vicksburg, Jackson, um, Jasper, Beaumont, um, Lufkin, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, and Shreveport. And then the storm will also be having a digging trough that will be digging throughout the southwest of the United States and then turn, as you see right here, is positively t tilted and now then it becomes negative as it digs throughout the southwest of the United States and then turns po negatively tilted, which will support that severe threat down here and then it will be just zooming off into the Midwest and kicking out of the area and then multiple other troughs and ridges that will be coming through the areas bringing some storms and then so let's get into the snowfall perspective of the storm or these few storms as you can see there's some decent snow accumulations that'll happen these won't be precise there be, will be some changes in some locations like right now I could say this part of Missouri could, is sowing no snow and by tomorrow and the next couple of days it could have like a lot of snow there'll be some differences this isn't the official forecast but this is what's showing as of right now some heavy snow accumulations in two parts of um, Kansas. Main bullseye will be from Kansas, Nebraska, I these parts of Iowa, um, Wisconsin, and UP and Michigan. And then some decent snowfall as well. A little more than I expected in the parts of Maine and the Boston area, Pl Plymouth area and some snow into the mountains of Vermont, New Hampshire, and out west will be a lot of snow as well into the Rockies. And then the next seven day um, rainfall accumulation outlook or map, excuse me, not really outlook but forecast. As you can see like I said from this heavy rain will be throughout mainly the bullseye will be the Ohio Valley and the south bringing at least one to three inches of rain and also some decent rain into the mid-Atlantic and the Virginia and Nebraska some pretty decent rain out here in the, the Midwest as well in the central United States and then some heavy rain again into out west but not as bad as it was before but there could be some flooding possible and guys I also do want to mention that um my goal of 100 subscribers by Valentine's Day or February 14, 2023. I do uh, ask for y'all guys for that help for that to make that goal true and real. And then after that, even beyond that, to f go even beyond that to thousands of subscribers. And then I also made another goal for 2,000 subscribers by, I'm not sure when, but. I'll do a face reveal if we get to that point and even grow even beyond that beyond 2,000 subscribers and even grow even beyond that and I do want to say one more time that if you have not subscribed consider to subscribe especially share my channel in my videos and like videos to help grow my channel guys so I can reach out to many people as I can possible so yeah that's basically all I have to say today in this video now I'll talk to you soon in the next video. This is Severe Weather Forecaster Guy signing out and I'll talk to you in the next video.